When life puts you in a dark spot that isn't of your own making, it isn't easy to focus on finding a solution. But this is precisely what Rosanna Faisal did when it seemed that she would spend the rest of her life as a quadriplegic. Although she made an incredible recovery, she couldn't continue with her career. And so, she resumed her interest in baking. That's how the Whimsical Whisk came into being. And I went off to sample some of Rosanna's baking and her philosophy of life. Growing up in Cape Town, Rosanna Faisal was the designated baker of the family. And now she's returned to the passion of her girlhood. She's had to take some rocky detours to find her true path in life, but this has just added to the love she mixes into every one of her creations. Rizana knew that Zaggy was on her way and was ready to welcome her with a sweet surprise. You don't have to ask me twice to present a feature on decadent delights, but this particular story isn't all fairy tales and smiles. This is the story of the whimsical whisk and how it came out triumphant through adversity to bring joy to everyone it touches. Zaki didn't know what Rosanna and her whisk had been up to. Oh wow, Rosanna, is this how you greet everyone? It's the best way to start the day. I love you. Mmm. <laughs> this is divine. Are we baking this today? No, today we are doing a mousse cake with mirror glaze. How do we start with the mousse cake? So we start by pouring our hot cream over the chocolate. And then we add our gelatine. Zach, could you please pass me the spatula? Of course. Thank you. We'll just give it a quick stir and then we'll move on to beat the mixture. Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> just go for it. So now what we do is we're going to take our whipped cream and we will pour in half of it. Zach, could you pass the spatula? Of course. So we'll just fold this in and then we'll add the rest of our cream. Rosanna, you originally studied IT. Why did you choose this career path? I was so bored in IT. Um, I went from IT to become a makeup artist and I did that for quite a few years. One day it was my day off work and I had this terrible pain in my back. By the evening I had lost feeling in my legs and my husband rushed me to hospital. The doctors had discovered there was a blood clot in my spine. So when they took me to operate on me, they said that I would probably be a quadriplegic. Luckily for me, I came out of the operation a paraplegic. Between my parents and my husband, they took me to the Sports Science Institute for rehab and within a few months, I was walking. How did you overcome this huge challenge in your life? My support system made the world of difference. Not one day did my family, my husband or anybody tell me that you will never walk. And what inspired you going into the business of baking? I've always been the family baker and when I left makeup artistry, I needed to do something because I can't just sit still. And that's how it began two weeks after I had my second daughter. What next? So now you are going to pour this into the mold okay. and then we'll pop it in the freezer. Remember to keep some for licking. Oh, then I'm going to stop pouring. So now we will put this in the freezer, but luckily I have one prepared for you. Wonderful, let me tidy up. For Rosanna, a cake is more than just the sum of its ingredients, and she sets out to create a happy memory for herself and her customers every time she bakes and decorates. She also has an entrepreneurial side and has expanded her product range with innovative ideas. So this is the one from the freezer. Wow. So why the name The Whimsical Whisk? I was trying to think of something that represents me and represents the whimsy in what I create, and I just like the play on words. So what makes the Whimsical Whisk different to other bakeries and bakers? For me, I take each cake as a piece of art. I also put emphasis on the taste as well as the look. Last year, I came out with a, a range of sauces that can be used on pancakes, waffles, ice creams. I use it in coffee. And then at the same time, I've launched three types of curd. And then we've got the glaze kits, which is what you're going to be doing now. Well, let's launch into glazing. Okay, so we've heated up the glaze and now you're just going to take it and pour. That's it, okay. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. And your next color? Here it goes. Make sure you get on all the edges. Now you're pink. Look how rich that color is. And then when you're done, you take your palette knife and you're just going to smear. Look how that's falling, look at those colors. It looks like marble. So now we'll just wait for the drip to stop. 
and then we'll put it back in the fridge. What advice do you have for aspiring entrepreneurs out there? There's so many moments when you think that I can't do this, I've had enough, but just don't give up. It is so worth it. Thank you for the sweetest day, Rosanna. Thank you, it's been great. Oh look, the drips have stopped, so I'm going to get this in the fridge. Rosanna is pure sunshine, and it's stories like these that inspire so much hope in people. From wheelchairs to whisks, she is the sweetest example of what we can achieve when we put our minds to it. <laughs>